Okay, here we are at the in-house beehive. It is uh, September 12th, I believe. And, uh, you know, it looks like they're building a lot of propolis out here. I probably ought to get this fixed. But it doesn't seem to hurt nothing. Let's see what they got in here. They ate all that honey. They haven't built anything down here, which is a little upsetting, but they've definitely got this mostly full, so I'd say they're probably fine for the winter. And all those wax cappings I had down there are all tore apart. I'm going to have to sweep those up soon. Well, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're doing pretty good. I might just leave them alone for the winter. Okay. up here where the beehives are. Go have a look at them. Okay, they both look like they're still active. I can't see the bees very well on the camera. That hive there came from that swarm I got out of the uh, Westminster hive. The after swarm. Um, and that's this hive here. You guys have probably all seen. Go ahead and see how much honey and stuff they've got. Looks like a nice big hive. It's at least, uh, it's like two full boxes at least. Not enough that I'm going to really harvest any from them. But, let's have a look here. Oops. Good thing I'm wearing a suit. They're still angry. They're still related to that queen that I took out of here. Oh uh, yeah, they're full of honey clear back into here. I'd say they're pretty good. They smell okay. Yeah, got plenty of honey. Uh, from front to back. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 frames. They probably all average about four pounds each, so with 17 times four, it's like eh, it's enough to make it through the winter. Let's go ahead and uh, close these up. I don't really need to look at them anymore. Basically, the only thing I'm going to do with them between now and winter is uh, uh, wrap a nice bike chain around them so nobody can get into the hive. Other than that, I think we're good. If they have any honey left over in the spring, I'll go ahead and take it out. That, that's about it. Okay, this one I haven't really actually looked into since I added this bottom box. See, I painted it silver so it reflects sunlight. And uh, they had this box full. I'm kind of curious as to what they got down in here now. Let's go ahead and open them up. There. Looks like plenty of bees. <laughs> oh, I should have brought my hive tool. I think I can get it. Oh, I forgot to take the feeder out. And looks like we got a uh, a loose comb there. That's all right. I guess I'm going to get a little bit of honey today. I wonder how far down that goes. Set that there. This is definitely full of honey. And I really wish I would have taken this out. I forgot about it. There's some drones in here still. So, it tells me something. See if I can pry this box apart here. 
<laughs> Alright, I'm going to need both hands to work on this. Okay, now I'm going to get stung. So I got that box off so we can have a look in here. Ugh, like this. There's nothing there. Looks almost completely empty. Yeah. Completely empty. That's going to be a problem. And these uh, paper frames, which I was experimenting with. This was a uh, paper coated in wax. It looks like they're just chewed through it. They didn't build wax onto it. That's a shame, because that would have made things a lot cheaper for me. Just yank these out of the lamp, too. Well, they're not building any comb. I don't have to say about that because that's definitely not enough to make it through the winter. Actually, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's call that nine. You know what? That might be enough, actually. They might be fine. We'll just leave them alone then. Put these frames up. See, I, I made all these frames in here. Maybe they didn't like them, huh? Okay. Not really much I can do about it now, except for maybe move this box <laughs> and just uh, winter them over inside of the smaller chamber. Add a frame here and work on it. And, uh, you know, I might just leave that there until spring to let them eat the honey out of it. There's really nothing wrong with it, it's just a piece of comb in there. Okay, so what I ended up doing. So I removed this feeder, and I moved one of the frames up into the top box to, uh, to replace the feeder. And then I, uh, I took that wax uh, with honey in it, and I, I put most of it back in the hive just so they'd have it. I did save a little piece here. I'm going to try now. Hmm. Mountain honey. I like a licorice flavor to it, actually. Must be from all the mule's ears earlier this year. <laughs> Not bad. Alright. There's some bees in here. I'm going to go ahead and yank the top off of this. And evict them. And then I'm going to put this in storage. Yeah. See they're building inside of it too. Yeah, that's better. Alright, go back to the hive. <laughs> okay, here's another hive I haven't checked on in a while. They look like they're still alive, that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and see what they've been up to, shall we? Okay. Looks like they didn't eat all that sugar I put in there. They've been eat eating at it, though. And they haven't filled up to the back of the hive, but let's see. Let's see how much honey they've stored. There's a little bit here, a little bit of uncapped stuff. So that's pretty good. That's right to the back, of, back of where I had the combs. Yeah, that one's definitely heavy. And that one's got some capped in it. See, I'd say they got plenty of honey to make it through the winter. Let's start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 21. About 21 of these frames. They probably all have honey in them. 
So, I'm going to call that good. I don't think it's enough to harvest any honey from them, because basically here back is where I can harvest from. So, so I'm going to have to defer harvesting till uh, spring. That's all right. At least I'll have bees and I'll be able to split them. Okay. Okay, everyone. I think this is going to be the last hive I look at today. This is that hive that I combined with the other hive. So it's two hives to make one. There's still bees buzzing around, even though it's getting dark. I'm going to have a look inside, see how much honey they've got. I'm not very hopeful though, because uh, they've been acting kind of sickly, like all season long. Yeah, I, I can tell you right now they don't got enough honey. I can like tip the hive. Oh yeah, they may have five, ten pounds of honey stored up. There's definitely not very much honey. You can still see they have brood. If you look closely, you can see that they're starting to like backfill the brood chamber with the nectar, which will eventually turn into honey. So I'm definitely going to have to feed these if I want any hope of making them survive. And uh, just as a precaution, I don't plan to use these combs ever again, neither with the combs with the other hive. I mean, some of these wooden ones I might. I might like burn them to disinfect them. You know, I don't... I'm not sure if they got anything. They, they might... they probably don't. But, you know... It's just a precaution, since they didn't do so well this season. If they do make it through the winter, and they won't unless I feed them, I'm gonna just uh, start the new bees... or start the bees that survive. I'm gonna start them on some uh, fresh comb, fresh foundation. And the, the comb that's in here, I'll just all mi I'll melt it all down. This might be a good hive to use for my experiment to see if I can get bees to survive purely on sugars throughout the winter. That might be a good hive to use. I mean, they're bringing in honey, but uh, it's just too late. There's no way they can make as much as they're going to need. Also, look at all these dead bees out front. That can't be a good sign. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's just put the lid back on. I'll make a li a another video later on with what I decide to do with these. I might build me something and like have them live off of a big block of sugar all winter, see if they survive. I may do that with another hive as well, one that's not so sickly. You know, because I'm a scientist. I want to see what I can get away with. And uh, I've been finding out lately that uh, the honey that you get down in town actually kills bees. It's crazy. They actually do better on sugar, it seems. The honey up here, though, is great. My guess is because we don't have any pesticides. Anyway. That's uh, that's the hives I have up here. Uh, I will be checking on others uh, in the following days. But I think I'll skip those and I'll just make another episode when I'm like winterizing my hives. This was just to uh, check to see how much honey they had and see what their chances of survival were. Like, for instance, these guys, I don't expect to survive them and I know that I'm going to have to feed them. Those up on the mountain are probably fine. That one down over across the wash. That one looked fine as well. So, I'll see you guys next time.